it was pretty clear that they were going to strike the programs. The only question for SMU political science chair Joe Kabilka was how far the Supreme Court would go in its decision to end affirmative action. All schools are going to have to come to grips with this. All schools are trying to get more diverse populations among their students. In a 6-3 decision, Chief Justice John Roberts writes Harvard and UNC unavoidably employ race in a negative manner in their affirmative action programs. In an aggressive dissent, Justice Sonia Sotomayor says the devastating impact of this decision cannot be overstated. Well, I think today's decisions are uh, very concerning because they are overruling 45 years of precedent. UT Austin higher education professor Liliana Garces wrote a brief supporting Harvard and UNC. She worries an overcorrection will ban race from the admissions process Robert's opinion says it can be discussed, like in personal character essays. In so many ways, that's what holistic admissions is. It's not about placing a thumb on the scale um, or making decisions based solely on a student's skin color. UT Austin is the only public university that uses race in its decisions and said it will make necessary adjustments. SMU and TCU say they're still determining how enrollment efforts will change. If you have those stable ratios, are you still looking at race? And that's where the subsequent litigation is going to go. This is not over. Kabilka expects universities to use proxies for race, like income and location. Nine states already had bans in place. A study found California's ban led to a 40% drop in black and Latino students at selective state schools. It's really about how we address racial inequality in our society. In Dallas, I'm William Joy. President Biden is denouncing the court's ruling, and we have his reaction on WFAA.com.